Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're on the train to Seldic, and uh, let's talk to our party members, see what's going on, see what they have to say. When I came to the Academy, I never thought I'd find myself visiting the Grand Market of Seldic as part of my studies. I've read about it before, but this will be the first time seeing the place in person. Oh, really? Well, feel the study or no, then, I guess it's still something to look forward to. Is there anything in particular you're hoping to see there? Uh, the gems and furs from Berea Hard, maybe? They say some of the highest quality goods produced by Berea Hard's artisans are sold at the Grand Market. That sounds like it could be worth seeing for sure, though somehow I doubt we'll be able to afford anything there. Still, if we get a chance, we should go check it out together while we're in town. Huh, that sounds like fun. And Elliot. Hey, almost forgot I had these. I just picked them up on a whim a little while ago. And we get a pack of Blade cards. Oh, you have a pack too? I just got a set of my own from the pawn shop in Trista. Really? That's perfect then. How about we play a few hands? Seems like we've got some time to kill before we arrive. Do you know the rules? Yeah, they're not that complicated, so I don't think anyone here will have any trouble picking it up. Sounds like a good way to pass the time to me. Indeed, it seems like it could be an enjoyable diversion. Alright, let's give it a try then. Okay, sweet. Yeah, and we can get some, we can get 50 bond experience with them, but only the first match with each character will increase your bond with that person. But it doesn't matter if you win or lose, so, eh, who cares. Let's talk to Laura. I do wonder what precisely these field study trips will involve. I can't even fathom a guess. Likewise, the weirdest part for me is the divide between Group A and Group B. Why were we split up and sent to different places? And most bizarrely of all, why were Machias and Eusus places placed in the same group? It's like they're just asking for trouble! It does seem quite illogical. I can only assume there's a hidden purpose of these trips beyond what we've been told. Perhaps multiple purposes required multiple groups to fulfill. Yeah, that's my best guess too. There has to be something going on behind the scenes here. Which is why I wanted to ask Instructor Sarah a few more questions, but, well... <laughs> yeah, she is just sleeping. Probably the hangover. Probably drank too much. I don't think she'll be doing much answering. Perhaps she fell asleep deliberately to avoid addressing such concerns. Our instructor is quite the formidable opponent. That's one way to describe her. Guess we're just going to have to work out the meaning of these field study trips on our own. And talk to Sarah. She really is fast asleep. Out like a baby. I've never even seen a child fall asleep quite as quickly as that. I know I know I sure couldn't. She must have a natural talent for sleeping. Well, let's not disturb her. And let's play Blade. And I'm going to uh, challenge all of them. But I'm just going to show off the match versus uh, Alicia. The rest of them I'm actually going to have in the uh, end slate of the video. So here we go. Come on, draw a okay, card. so we get to draw a card, and I have a mirror, which is worth one point versus her four point card, and the the, the goal is to get either, uh, really to get more points than her, so I'm going to put out a level five card, so now I'm at six, now she's at seven. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and put out a level six card, so now I'm at twelve. Okay, now she used Bolt, which got rid of my... Uh, level 6 card, so I'll just use this bow right here, so I'm at 9. Okay, now she's at 11. I'll use this bow, my 12. I'll okay, now score. she's at 12. So now we're at a draw. So now we start over. Okay, so draw same, again. draw. Continue on. I'll okay, 6, draw, draw continue on. And yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm at 1 point, she's at 2. Let's go on up to 3. Okay, now she's at 6. Uh, if I do this, I'll be at a draw. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to steal her cards with a mirror. So now I'm at 6 and she's at 4. Now she's at 9, and I'm going to destroy her card with a bolt. There we go. I'm still at 6. Ooh, I don't think I can win. Um, yeah, if I do a 6, I'll be at 8. I'll just use this card. Yeah, so I lost, but, you know, it is what it is. I still get the 50 lick experience. I'm going to go ahead and play Blade with the rest of the guys, and you can find that in the end slate of the video if you're uh, into all of that. Okay, went ahead and I finished Blade, so let's stop talking. And when you click stop talking, that is your cue to arrive in Celtic. So all you have to do is play, uh, well actually you don't even have to play Blade, you just have to talk to Elliot. But uh, one of my commenters asked me, it was, it was uh, Michael Hamlin, he said, hey David, Who's your favorite character? And I really, at this point, don't really have a favorite character. So far, we've focused mostly on Gaius and Elliot, who seem, you know, pretty cool. They're okay. And uh, Alicia, uh, she seems to have some issues. So, yeah. Um, 
But as far as my favorite character, I'd have to go probably with, uh, Gaius and Elliot, just because I know them so well so far. Okay, so they're talking about the rye being harvested in fall. Well, the soil in this area is supposed to be extra fertile to the warmer climate, so things are a little different here. The view really is amazing, though. It looks like something out of a painting. The Ministry of Railways wishes to okay, thank all so, passengers. Yeah, the next round stop across is them. The next stop is Zeldick. Okay, almost there. Guess I should wait for Dr. Sarah. Um, some of the other characters that I'm thinking about, like Eusis, all we really know about him is that he is a rich and powerful noble. Machias, all we really know about him is that he hates nobles, although he likes Laura for some reason, probably because he has a crush on her. Emma, she just seems kind of bookish and there. And all we really know about Fee is that she's kind of cat-like and she likes to sleep. So, yeah, I mean, I really can't um, form an opinion on the characters so far. I like Instructor Sarah. I think she's kind of cool, although I don't really know why she gets drunk every five seconds. But, uh, she's okay. And Laura seems nice, although her stick is pretty much that she's strong and athletic and also another noble. And if you haven't figured out Alicia's last name, then I don't know what's wrong with you, because I figured it out within about two seconds of being introduced to her. But, uh, something tells me that although she's a commoner, she's probably a rich commoner. The only person whose background we really don't know much about is Reens. Um, he did say that he doesn't have a drop of noble blood in him, but that doesn't mean that he couldn't be maybe adopted by a noble family. Um, and Instructor Sarah did say that he is unique as far as the other, you know, members are concerned. Wow, so this is Kildick. It seems like a really relaxing little town, though there are a lot more people here than I expected. I imagine they've come for the Grand Market. Even merchants from other countries regularly come to see it. Sounds like this place is as popular with the tourists as the capital then, but for a whole different set of reasons. Keldick's also widely renowned for their local beer, which they make using rye. But you're all still miners, so I'm the only one here who gets to drink it. Are you trying to make us jealous? We don't really care, you know. Anyway, let me show you to the inn. It's, uh, right over there. Uh, okay. Let's go. And away they go. I've got to say that that shadow of the windmill is really grainy. And for a PlayStation 3 game, I'm really not one to bitch about graphics. But for a PlayStation 3 game, I mean, they can do better. Who's this guy? Huh. Well, well. I hadn't expected to see the Purple Lightning herself in such a quaint little town. Hmm. And the chicks with her seem like an interesting lot, too. Uh, no time for that now. I have more pressing matters to attend to. It's Blue Blanc from uh, Trails in the Sky. If you ever played that game, which I have a let's play of, the second chapter, Blue Blanc's all over that game, and he is uh, quite annoying, to say the least. <laughs> Always doing weirdo quests and everything, but uh, he's fun. Hey there, Margo. Well, if it isn't Sarah, what are you doing here? I knew the kids were coming, but I didn't think that you'd be coming with them. Oh, I just figured I'd help them get settled in before I left. And here they are, my lovely students. Well now, aren't they a youthful looking bunch? It's a pleasure to meet you. We're first two students from Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. I'm Reen. I'm Alicia. Thank you for putting us up. The pleasure's all mine, I assure you. I'm Margo, the owner of this humble establishment. Sarah here is taking care of all your arrangements. Come, I'll show you to your room. Thank you, ma'am. Much obliged. Hmm. She said room. Wouldn't there be rooms? Yeah, I guess she's going to, uh, yeah, get some beer and snacks. Okay. <laughs> Since you do know it's not even noon, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> beer and pretzels. Come on now. Let's do this. This is the room you're all going to be staying in tonight. Wait, we're all... Yeah, this is... One room, four beds. Okay. 
more than enough space for all of our needs. Thank you very much. But there are four beds, which means... Are you suggesting we sleep in the same room as the boys? I had my doubts about that, too, but Sarah insisted, so that was that. I broke the beds into groups of two to make things less awkward, but that was about the best that I could manage. I don't... This is going to be a problem. I don't have a problem with it personally, but I can't imagine the girls would be quite as accepting. Alicia, I don't believe we have a choice here. We are military students. We mustn't allow the prospect of mixed gender accommodations to phase us. I know that, but in the Army, women share rooms with men. It's a fact of life, born of necessity. You'll need to adjust to this reality sooner or later, and this does seem a perfect opportunity. Okay, okay, I get it. But if either of you two comes anywhere near our beds, I wouldn't dream of it. Likewise. I wasn't talking about you, Elliot. I was referring to a certain someone else who's already had a history of this kind of thing. Maybe if we chain Reen to the bed. I thought she'd gotten over that. I guess not. What a bitch. <laughs> anyway, now that your room's all sorted, let me give you this. Isn't that our Academy's emblem? Does this contain the details of our assignment here? That's what I've been told, yes. Well, if you need anything during your stay, just let me know. For now, I'll leave you to get settled in. Oh, well, thanks. Plenty of wine bottles in here, too. Nice. Got our own little mini bar. All right. Shall we have a look inside? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we've got. So we have a highway monster. Okay. Okay, we can deal with that. Uh... A malfunctioning orbit light, these are the two required quests, and then a common cold. Okay, so I guess somebody's a, a father, so in the church, is sick. Okay. Okay, we can do that. So this is our field study? It just looks like a list of menial tasks to me. There is a monster elimination request at least, but that's the most that we have. I see, so that's our angle. Excuse me? Did you figure something out? No, it's nothing. We should go and talk this over with Instructor Sarah. She'll probably stuck around specifically to answer any questions that we might have. Hmm, you may be right. And while we're at it, we can grill her about this communal room she signed us up for, too. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's, uh, look around. Get on out of here. Lots of people in the inn, so I'll go ahead and talk to them while I'm here. This truly is the very image of a commoner's lodging. I mustn't complain, though. Having shelter from the elements is all that I should be asking for. I guess so, lady. Uh, let's see. Nobody's in that room over there, so let's just head downstairs and talk to you guys. The food here really is as good as they say. Things are going on well on the business front, too. So my name will be spreading like wildfire soon enough. Uh, okay, well, if you say so. The key to being a successful merchant is knowing what the other party wants. I see, I see. How does one go about that, though? Learning that requires listening to the tales of my past achievements first. You see, my sheer skill when it comes to dealing with others allowed me to become very popular with the ladies. As a result, I was able to become close to more women than you could possibly fit with this room. Uh, this story is of no interest to me whatsoever. Yeah, neither to me either, I must say. Sarah's having a grand old time over at the counter if you look at her. She really conducts herself disgracefully sometimes. I should be used to it by now, but... Seems like our instructor's famous for all the wrong reasons. Indeed. Part of me expected as much, though. Yeah, before I talk to Sarah, I want to talk to, uh, Margo. You never change, do you, Sarah? Come on, don't give me that. What kind of person would throw away the opportunity to enjoy beer this good? That's probably the last thing that should be coming from an instructor's mouth. Seriously. And talk to her one more time. This field study definitely seems like it'll be hard work for you all. Here, take this. Hopefully it'll help you get through it. Get sweet cookie number three. Oh, these look delicious. Thank you very much. Huh, no worries. Here, take this recipe too. It's nice and simple, so give it a shot sometime. And we'll get the recipe for sweet cookie as well. And we can go to the shop here, and uh, I want to buy a uh, sweet and fluffy omelet, but I need to sell some stuff in order to do that. So I'm going to sell some stuff off screen, and then uh, buy this. So I just went and I sold some of these chitinous shells, so I have 1,500 mirror now. So I can go ahead and buy the, uh, what is it, the, uh, yeah, the soft and fluffy omelet. Sweet. Okay. Now if that's done, let's talk to Instructor Sarah. Ah, 
thing hits the spot quite like a cold beer. She looks like she's having the time of her life. How many pints has she downed already? It's not even new. Oh, you kids are still here? I'll just be hanging back and enjoying myself. So go on ahead and get started. Don't mind me. We have questions for you, though. What's with these field study tasks? I'm glad they're not as difficult as I was expecting, but they're just so... Well, it makes sense you'd have some doubts. You only need to do the ones it says are required, though. Feel free to just ignore the rest if you want. I don't care. It's up to you how much or how little you want to do. Hmm? S stop being so irresponsible and... Wait. These kinds of decisions are as much a part of our field study as the tasks themselves. Oh, what? B what do you mean? <laughs> you have two days. Trista isn't far from here, so you'll be returning to the Academy tomorrow evening. Until then, you can spend your time here, however the four of you see fit. Every decision rests on your shoulders. I won't be forcing you to do a thing. Okay, so it's very similar to Trail of the Sky, and like, we have to do certain quests uh, before we are able to move on. Okay, so what's up? You have this look in your eyes like you've been piecing something together. Well... Does this relate in some way to work free day this past week, specifically to your activities during that time? Oh, yeah, now that you mention it, exactly. I spent this past free day doing various tasks on behalf of the student council, and while one of them did involve going back to that old schoolhouse, the rest were just simple requests for assistance from the locals. In other words, exactly the sort of thing we've been asked to do here. And by the time I'd taken care of everything, I felt like I'd learned a lot about Trista and the Academy, so I think we've been given similar tasks here for a similar reason. That would definitely make sense. I mean, all I know about Celtic is what I've read. There's probably a lot we can learn by actually coming here and helping people out like this. Indeed, the land of Erebone is quite vast. This may be an invaluable opportunity to gather local knowledge of a place we may otherwise never have visited. Yeah, exactly. So whatever various and sundry things Instructor Sarah may have planned for us, I say we just work out our way down the list while immersing ourselves in Celtic culture Taking it as much as we can. Sounds good to me. Count me in. Uh, this actually sounds pretty exciting when you put it that way. Shall we depart then? Okay, well, awesome. Okay, got a bunch of tasks. Details can be converted to the quest tab and the required marks. Okay, so once we do all the required tasks, the story will advance. So you want to do any optional quests um, before you do those required quests, and we're going, there's a lot to explore in this town. There's a lot of uh, people to talk to. All the little yellow dots are people that we're going to talk to. So uh, we're going to explore this town, talk to these people next time. I'm going to play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day. on me, okay? Okay then, let's draw! Looks like you're up first. The same score means we draw again, right? Well, looks like I'm up first.
Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. Hm. Then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! Mirror! <laughs> well played. An excellent duel. 